Andrew Edwards. I represent the 26th District, Nashua, Wards 5, 8, and 9, where I grew up. And I'm 21 years old. It only cost $2 to file to run. And I just said, wow, well, if I have the opportunity to serve, you know, even in a small role like this, I think I'm capable. Online, I had no problem campaigning, you know, through Facebook and getting help from the blogs. I designed my own sign, you know, and I did something a little different than most. Me and my family and friends went around and asked everyone in the neighborhood if they, um, if they put my sign on their lawn. As a legislator, he's very conscientious from uh, what I've seen. He spends a lot of time reading a lot of the materials that he has to go over, talks to a lot of people, uh, gets a lot of outside source information uh, when he needs to. Uh, he works very hard at it. The internet. It's just opening up a whole other world of possibilities. You can get your voice heard if you like blogging. You can like talk to people halfway around the world. I mean, it's been incredible in terms of shaping the way we think. And for young people, we grew up on the internet. You know, like that's, you're talking our language now. Me and a couple other young people, we like to take out our phones in the chamber. So we're like on our internet browsers, you know, looking up information, especially voting on bills where you don't have the legislation, the actual wording in front of you. We find it as a huge resource because we're voting on hundreds of bills and you're only familiar with maybe a dozen or two of them. They don't really see it as, as a useful tool. They see it as a distraction. And we're just like, wow, we're trying to do our jobs better if we were more wired, if people were allowed to use computers or laptops in the chambers, because we have so little time to evaluate this stuff while we're there. Most of the time, people don't know what they're voting on or what it's actually doing. Frankly, the internet, if I didn't have the internet, I'd be useless. I wouldn't know how to, I wouldn't know anything. I wouldn't be able to go home and research this stuff on my own time and figure out what's really going on and what this really means. But I have a feeling a lot of people don't do that. There's no shortage of political interest among you know, people in our generation. I think we're in general agreement on a lot of issues and we think a lot needs to be done. We've really picked up on you know, the tensions within the system when you introduce these two new things, young people and new technology. We could talk for hours about how important the internet is and how it's, it's such a perfect marriage of democracy and political energy because it gives people a voice so it's, it's very empowering. And I, don't, I haven't rolled out running again in the future, but not, you know, not until my student loans are paid off at least. <laughs>